Welcome back, everybody, to another All Things Nerd video. I hope you enjoyed that dramatic entrance. <laughs> Welcome back, guys, to exploring the world of Azeroth in World of Warcraft. Today, we are back in the Cataclysm expansion, where we are actually in one of my all-time favorite zones and areas in and all of World of Warcraft. That is Vashir, the underwater zone that everybody hated. <laughs> I didn't hate it. I liked it. And uh, and I can't speak for the whole player base. Maybe there are a few others, but I know it didn't give many or great feedback from people. So Blizzard actually ended up not making much more underwater content because of this. And it's really sad. Now, today we are at the bottom of Vashir in the Abyssal Breach, where Throne of the Tides dungeon is. And if you guys remember, there used to be, or there is still here, an old scrapped raid called the Abyssal Ma, and the entrance is right here. Obviously, you can't go inside of it. The wall will stop you. But that's what I'm going to be teaching you guys today. I'm going to be showing you how I get back in here, and you can actually get inside of the entrance and walk around and it makes for a really cool liminal space area and if you guys have watched some of my other liminal space videos you know that this area was actually a part of my video there and so i'm very excited and by the way this underwater place looks really pretty for those of you guys who don't know either i actually ended up getting a new gaming pc so i was really excited to replace my old one and everything's on ultra settings and it just looks super nice so I'm really happy with it. Uh, I've been seeing World of Warcraft in a whole new light. And uh, it's it's been a lot of fun. So really happy with it. Um, I don't have ray tracing on. But I know ray tracing just tanks your frames. But it's still kind of neat to see. I don't know if it's going to make a difference here with the lighting. But it is really cool to see though still with everything on. So we'll keep ray tracing on. Why not? We'll have fun today. Alright. So I'm going to be teaching you guys... How I got in the back here, and it's it's pretty simple. It just takes a little bit of patience because you do got to be careful when you get out of bounds of the map. Where I'm going to be going is right over here on the side. Uh, if you break out of Vashir, you can still swim in the water. So I definitely would prepare like an underwater mount that you can use. So I would use something kind of like um, my fishy I got here, the wave whisker. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get in a normal corner like we always do. Like something right here. So I'm over by the waterfall. Once you come over here by the waterfall, you're going to be able to just... Well, actually, really any corner will work as long as you're able to lose your character like I showed you guys. Um, you can just use it anywhere. So we're actually going to... There we go. We're going to metamorphosis in here. And once we do that, we're actually going to build our seesaw because remember, we want our character to be off camera when we have the camera there. And that way we don't see anything. If for some reason, any of our guys characters sticking out, when we grow ourselves like right here with the Vicrow drinking horn, it's not really going to work. And gosh, I'm going to turn down my audio a little bit. That's at 100%. No wonder why it's so loud. There we go. Gosh, dude was like yelling in the air. Ah. <laughs> like about to blow up my eardrum here. I'm like, holy crap, that's loud. So, but anyways, look at how pretty this looks. I think this is one of the coolest looking places in the game. I love this underwater cavern. It's so sad that the underwater stuff didn't do as well as it should have. But anyways, we're going to jump on our seesaw. And when we do that, we should clip out of the map once we stand up. Oh, it's throwing us back out. See, you can see there that we barely get out. So what we're going to now want to do is we're going to have to do another strategy here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to Vengeance here. And we want to use Infernal Strike because once we do that, we can actually position ourselves to get back under. And, you know, we also might want to find a different place to go under here. But I think this is the best place for it. I don't know if there's another place that we can actually get under properly. Because all of this is water and we're not going to be able to put our toys down in the water, unfortunately. So I believe this is really the only place you can do this. Uh, we want to find a place where we could jump. There we go. Now our dude's sticking out. And this should work now. So we're going to use our Storm Griffin. There we go. 
And now when we grow ourselves, we should be able to get out of the map. We're going to switch back to Havoc real quick because we want that fell rush just in case we fall or something. We can catch ourselves. And when we stand up, there we go. Now we are absolutely outside the map and you can see we're actually swimming. So what's really neat about this is you get out of there and you can see this really cool and awesome like whirlwind effect. Check that out. You can see how that kind of spits you back down into the abyssal maw breach or the abyssal breach here, I should say. Isn't that awesome? Look at this view. So this is what Bashir looks like from the outside, if you guys didn't see. Obviously, it's just all water. I mean, we're underwater, so that's a given, right? But you can kind of get this different view of what everything looks like, but I just think that looks awesome. Look at that. It's like one giant donut just spinning down. <laughs> I wish we could get into here, which we might still be able to if we swim up far enough and then swim into it. But the only thing is, this is all open. Ooh, I forgot. Crap, we're in fatigue. Um, we need to breathe. Oh, crap. Uh, we're in fatigue. Okay, we're gonna go back out for a minute. I totally forgot that we were in fatigue for a second, so I'm gonna jump back on and redo this. Ooh, that was close. All right, we're gonna jump on our swimming mount and we're gonna head out this way. So, when you come out here, you gotta be careful because you can DC, but we kind of just need to kind of inch our way towards the entrance here. What we might want to do is swim down a little bit and then go this way. I don't know where we're at exactly. Oh, there we go. Okay. So we can see the entrance. So we kind of want to go this way. And then I'm thinking we made it. Oh, crap. I think we fell. Yeah, I don't know where we're at. I think we fell. <laughs> we fell. Oh, no. And we DC. <laughs> Okay, that's okay. We're gonna redo that. All right, I'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back. Round two, here we go. <laughs> All right, not not too bad. So we fell the first time, that's okay. We're gonna try a different strategy here and we're gonna go out this in a different way. Um, so we're gonna get out of the map again. And I think, there we go. We're gonna put our seesaw over here. And I think this should work, not like the... Oh, it's not a seesaw, our... Uh, oops, what am I doing here? Holy crap, I'm losing my mind. There we go. Alright, we're gonna do the aw. And we're out. Alright, so we'll, we're gonna try this in a different light here. We're actually gonna go up. We're gonna go up, but we kinda gotta do this quickly. There we go. All right, and then we're gonna swim forward. We're gonna go up again. And what we're gonna try to do is then we're gonna swim forward again. We wanna get, a, I think more, I'm trying to remember how the heck I did this. Oh, there we go, okay. Now we're just gonna fall through. Oh, how awesome is that though? That's a cool looking shot right there. Not gonna lie, it's pretty legit actually. Okay, so we made it in. Now we just gotta fall down. And you actually fall down inside of here. This will work. Oh, I wanna get a screenshot of all this though. I gotta add this to my collection. And we're just gonna directly drop inside of here. And there we go, easy peasy. We didn't like, we didn't like fall, fail the first time or nothing. <laughs> and you can actually walk all the way back here too, if I remember correctly. Look at that. I love that cool effect too. Ooh. Check that out. And there you go. And that's how to get back in uh, the Abyssal Ma raid for underneath that shear. So isn't that awesome? And you can just uh, roam around back here. So feel free to make videos and all that. It's pretty sweet to get it back here. Um, now it will stop you. So this is like as far as you can actually go, unfortunately, but you're in here. So just swim all the way up, go straight. So, so I'd say swim about up about what? Maybe I swimmed up for maybe like a minute. Goes completely straight. 
you'll eventually dismount because you're going to fall. Actually, it looked like I was able to dragon ride outside the map, so I, I but I wanted to fall down for more of dramatic effect. And there you go. You'll get inside the Abyssal Maw Raid entrance, so really cool. And, you know, this is an awesome piece of history because, you know, everybody was expecting this Maw Raid uh, to actually come to light in the Cataclysm expansion, but unfortunately it never came, which is really sad to me too because I love this zone so much. It would have been awesome to see how this actually would have turned out, but you can go all the way back here and just chill. So if you ever need to play hide and seek with your friends in World of Warcraft, here you go. Now you got an awesome location to go to. Nobody would ever find you back here. <laughs> but uh, yeah, guys, that's how to get inside the Abyssal Ma um, raid entrance. So a little bit of piece of history. Wouldn't it be kind of crazy if like you got back here and it actually teleported into the raid? That would be sweet. I don't believe the, the files exist anymore in the game um unfortunately so i don't think it's possible to get in the raid anyways which would be sweet if you could but uh yeah so there you go guys that's the uh, scrapped abyssal maw entrance raid i hope you enjoyed this video took a minute but we did it you know sometimes you're gonna fail you just gotta get back up and try again and that's exactly what we did um i hope you guys are enjoying these videos as much as i am making them thank you guys for all the positive feedback and comments and you guys are awesome. Love every single one of you. Uh, I wouldn't have this channel without all of you supporting it and giving me the views and watching the videos and leaving awesome comments and likes. And it's just really cool. So I'm hoping I can do this full time sometime, maybe coming up in the next year or so. I would love to just make YouTube videos for the living here. But, you know, only time will tell. And, uh, you know, you never know, though. So maybe we'll get up there one day. Got to keep shooting for my dream series, right? But uh, anyways, guys, as always, my name is Nathan. I want to say thank you for always supporting the All Things Nerd channel. I will uh, see you guys on the next one. Take care.